So the car is listed for what, 14.8? Should I, what's out of the door? It's tax titles registration, right? Because right. so, they take care of that shit. Right. So, so what would be like a good price, out in the fucking door? Pr- did you look up prices? Probably 16.8 out the door. No, but hold on, no, but did you, hold on, hold on. I still but, think that's too much. But hold on, that's, what, what, the cars are, the cars are 2013. Yeah. The only good thing about, we're not taking the parkway? Nope. All right. We're on, what, one and nine? Mm-hmm. Um, the good thing about it, it's only got 85,000 on that engine. And that's a good engine to only have 85,000 miles on because that engine will last a, a long time because that's a BMW. That's, that's a BMW. A good, that's a good it's an X5. So is that a good price for that so, car? Did you, have you looked up so that? That's what do, I was going to ask. Let's do math real quick. 15 grand times 7% is... Um, 15 grand times selling. So 10% is 1,500. Uh, 5% is... Times uh, 7, what'd you say? 750. 7, 7%? Yeah, so it's eight, uh, 850 in taxes. Uh, if we got a sticker, plus dealer fees, title, dealer which is usually like usually no more than like six, seven hundred bucks. Anything more than that, they're fucking robbing you. Um, so what's that? What's that come to? So sixteen thousand plus. Let's call it six. Another six hundred, seven hundred in dealer fees. That's sixteen seven. Yeah. I would. I, if you can get out the door fifteen on this, then I think that's. That's what I said. Sixteen eight. 15, 15 out the door. You said 16 8. Yeah, I said 16 8. You would be paying 16 8 if you got it in a sticker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, which I don't want. Yeah. Right, so I think 15 grand out the door. If it's nice and doesn't have any fucking noises, like, I think that's a fair price. All right, so day or try three, we are going to hopefully find the vehicle today. We're at Torchlight Motors in, uh, where is this? Parlin, New Jersey. Never been here. But uh, this lot had some good stuff on it. So the guy Jeff was really cool. So we ended up taking a trip down here today. That's the truck or the SUV we were looking at, but they got a lot of stuff on the lot. So today's going to be a good day. I won't get a Subaru just out of pure, pure respect. This is clean inside. You want a Subaru? I would just ask. You like them, huh? Yeah, I think I, you pick I one because I've never. Like yeah, hold on, I mean, the third pick. Hold on. There's, there's, there's someone here. He's got a bunch of them. Just give me one with the cheapest miles on it. The left of least amount of miles. No. X5. This, is that the one? This is the one. 46? The 46. Yeah, this is the BMW that's out there. Yep. Uh, there's the other silver rabbit. That one's almost 20. Yeah. So the white one's almost 20. All right. You gotta stop telling people you got three fucking cars. No, because they have no, no. That you don't. Dude, you, you, you gotta, you gotta learn sales. People gotta understand that I, have, that I have two cars and I don't need this. You don't understand. I don't need a fucking car. They need to. When, when I'm buying shit, I don't. You gotta understand. When you're, when you're. If I told them I only had one car, I, or this is my everyday driver, then they know I'm in need. But what if I'm you not, say you need something to put your dogs in? <laughs> that's different. No, <laughs> that's I can throw. I, but I, that's I do. I want something to put my dogs in. I, I, if I have three vehicles, I don't need anything. I don't need shit. I, I want something to throw my dogs in. When I said I need it, it's like for me, like that's what I want. Let's look at the BMW first. You're going driver's side. Huh? Get the driver's side. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm driving it. What am I doing? <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, you, you're getting past the side of somebody. This looks exactly like my old BMW that uh, I got. It's sharp. It's clean. Smells good. Dude, you got the full fucking moon roof. Yeah. What? It's water. Yeah, I like it. Let's get it. Seriously, ready? Stop. Don't fucking be playing that shit with me. You didn't even look at it yet. They could have cleaned it a little better. Unless, unless I go, hey, you got to clean it. I'll come back in an hour. I mean, this is better than what you've been looking at, so. Yeah. Like you just, all right, let's, let's, let's. I really like this. Actually. Shut up, Joe. I don't need this shit in my life. Yeah, I have a feeling this lot's going to get my money. It's got decent like cars. cars. Give it to you. Yeah, you the, might. Uh, that Cayenne's nice. Things. I might take another four grand and go here. The motor sounds fine. Yeah, sounds fine. Dude, anything that's, that's broken is going to present itself within, you know what I mean? Should I leave this on if we're gonna drive it? Or shut yeah, it let off? it sit for a little bit. Now this is guy. Now this has got it. Yeah, see, like the interior is just ten times fucking. Oh yeah. That whole dash cluster and everything just might way sportier. It's actually ten thousand less. 
Miles. Where's the Where's the key for this one? Oh, here. I have the BMW one in my pocket. I think. Who's got? The, you got all all of them? Yep. What year is this? Let me see. How do I start this? Uh, should be on the left hand side. Push, left. Just push button on the left. Oh right. no, it's the same push button. No. Twenty twelve. Sorry. Oh, so this is ten years old. Oh, it's just a year older than that. Is that a clock? Oh my God. I'm like, what is that ticking? <laughs> is a fucking ticking clock in the car? What's your take on this versus this is, that? This is beautiful. That's a 13, this is a 12, that's got 85, this has got 76. Drive it. Since this is a base model, that's a base model, you'll be able to tell, like, does it drive that much better or are you much, like, do you... Honestly, I, think I can these tell you this. This base model definitely has more options than that, though. Right. And, stuff. and could I could I do could, could I put like wheels on this? You don't oh, have anything yeah. to this thing. Dude. All your basic shit, but it looks sounds fine. Yeah. Sounds fine. If you if you wanted this one, the Porsche, I would we we could swing by my buddy's shop. Where's that? In Linden. How far is that from here? I'm, we don't have to do it now, but I'm saying okay. if, if you landed like on this one, I would bring this one by to him. Yeah. And say, what do you think of these? Because he knows this shit fucking like the back of his hand. Can, can you call him and see? Let's yeah, well, see if you want it first. You know, like, I'll bother him when I when we need to. Oh, we said there's four new tires on it, new brake pads. This? Yes. So you want to film in the front seat? Yep. Huh? I don't need to come back over. Perfect. All right. I appreciate you it. Phone, right? that, yeah, yeah, right here. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, Jeff. What a fucking gentleman. We like He's Jeff. not even coming with us. We like, we like Jeff. I honestly really, I like getting in this already. <laughs> I gotta drive this. I think I, I can't, I, I, sh I don't think I'm gonna do myself justice though. If I don't. You have to you, drive them. Drive them both. You have to drive them yeah. both. Yeah. Fucking nice guy. That's what it, it's, that's all it takes for me. All it takes. That's all it fucking takes, people. Well, you can tell he's like an old school Jersey fucking dad. Fucking. All right, let's. Well, just don't be a afraid to get on the brakes and you know. I'm yeah I'm gonna hammer it <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I'm gonna fucking hammer it you kidding me <laughs> so I'm gonna drive it the way I drive fucking cars bro look at this idiot I can already feel it's tight yeah it's not even in sport hold on We're at 80 miles an hour. Smooth. 85, 87, 90. Cruises. Smooth, very smooth. Very. I'm pretty good. Next one's a jug, I think. Right here? Next one. My butt's getting hot. <laughs> little toaster shit. Oh, look at this. Powerhouse. Yep. Toaster true. This is Powerhouse Old Bridge. This is yeah, fucking Mazza's gym. <laughs> I've been to that gym, it's pretty nice. Yeah. You got a lot of you never been there? No, I've been there. Joe, you never been there? No. It's got a ton of equipment. Oh, yeah. Traffic light make a left. I thought you wanted to go in, I was about to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, you know what? I'm actually shocked at how good this drives for being 10 years old. Yeah, as well. It's only got 75,000 miles. Go left or right? Left, left. Right. Left, right, left, left, left right, right, left. <laughs> you want to drive it? I'll get out right now. Yeah. Hurry up. Chinese fire drill. Yep, good. <laughs> Is that YouTube friendly? Because I got hit by an 18 wheeler. Go, 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 go! Shut up. <laughs> That's how we die. American fire drill. We uh, changed it. Bodybuilder fire drill. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing fucking moves. Jesus Christ. What is he, what is he at? Hey, 100? <laughs> I don't got my seatbelt on. <laughs> Your coffee, your coffee, your coffee. It's empty. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> of the resale value when coffee stains smuggling seats. This fucking seat heater. Why won't the window go up? It's Africa. Put the window up. <laughs> Hold on. I don't want to die. Oh, because the window locks on. Oh. He <laughs> said the seat heater is Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Oh. 
these are so much different. This is so tight. Like, BMWs are so fucking tight. Nope. I, I'm trying to get up to speed. Mine had a button here for sport mode. I don't see it here. So I don't know if that exists on this car. Might not. You see Probably it? Probably not. No. It's got, mine was a 2011 and it had it. Mine wasn't even an X model. Yo. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking does that. Now she gets in the fast lane. Oh god, idiot. Let's go. Past the seven, you're not done. Where are we at? We got a hundred. How do you feel? Feels good. Do you hear any I noises like back there? It feels more sketchy here than it does in the Porsche. I feel like the Porsche is definitely more planted. Like I don't like I like that look over this because this looks way old, like an old old X5. That's still even though even though that's older. That looks newer than this. Right. It's got like, see how like it's got like the, the rear spoiler thing. Yeah, so like it's a sportier, sportier mirrors. Like. Also, the interior is nicer on that one. The, yeah. It's more modern. Feels more modern. Right. Like this it is drives all, smoother. This is all cheap. What what, what what issues am I gonna have with that? So with the Porsches. This this I know has valve guide issues, but you're low low enough miles on this that it's not a big deal. Uh, but I, that was something that was concerning when I had mine. That. I, before you pulled the trigger on that, like I said, I would call Diogo and talk to him about it um, because he knows those things like the back of his hand. He's had multiple of them, and he does them at his shop. Honestly, if he gave you this for fucking 14 grand out the door, like, and he's like, I, I have less room on that, like, so you just, that's why I'm like, I would go so in So what should I say? Like, which, do, you, do you have a preference of which one you want to get rid of over another one? Just be like, what, which one can you make, which one can you deal the most on? I would say, listen, you know, I think both cars drove fantastic. I'm here to make a deal, you know, what, what's, what's the best out the door number on both of these cars? And it's, should I tell them like, I'll cash, yeah. cash, cash today, tomorrow at the latest. Yep. Like I have cash on me now, but like, I'll come back and if I need to, I'll put a deposit down today, but okay. you know, give me, give me an out the door price on both of these. Okay. And then we'll talk. We've been, I can't tell you how many, how many dealerships I've been to and been dicked around and not paid attention to, not like the, I, this is what a third or fourth time out, at least, and at like least. dealerships in Jersey have dealerships giving. Like I walk in, stand there 15 minutes, nobody be like, "Can I help you?" It's insane. Thank Absolutely, you. Jeff. Thank you. Appreciate you. Well, we, I'll give you a call today. Is there what number? Because I didn't call you. So, all my numbers are there. Office, cell, everything. Perfect. Is there. Thank you, boys. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. That's how it's uh, market all right all at the. Sales, I didn't see it. All sales are, all prices are fun, um, final. They're all fair. Oh, all prices. All prices are final. They're all fair, it said. Oh, that's what he said? Yeah. It's not the first time I've run into that. Really? Yeah, because he doesn't have to sit here haggling. Huh? He doesn't have to sit here haggling all day. You know, well, because like, you... like the price is the price. If you want it, Great. come back. If not, yeah. someone else will take it. Yeah. All right, we are back at the only dealership in my eyes, the, the used car dealership that's worth going to in New Jersey. Because I, I went to some dealerships and I got treated like complete dog shit. So we're back at Torchlight Motors in Parlin picking up the vehicle um, that I test drove the other day. Which one is it? You're gonna have to follow on the episode and check it out. Buying car number three, not four, quadro, three. So follow along. I didn't count any of this cash. I just all rolled up. We went to five. We went to four dealerships the other day. Yeah, and then we had how many the day be the time before that? This was the this was the place that that literally every like we walked into a place, what, nobody nobody talked to us. The one guy told us to take a take a walk down the road. When we started in Linden. The guy didn't even come outside. He didn't even come outside. <laughs> we walked around the lot for fifteen minutes. Nobody came out. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, they don't they don't have a clue how to do this, which actually for me is good. Yeah, because I get the I get it all the time. People come in and, and a lot of people say, I just was at some place. They won't tell me. I don't care where. 
I feel like I gotta take a shower from being in this freaking place. Yeah. All the slime. Uh. That, and, and it's a shame. It, it's it's the antithesis of my business. There are some good guys, but there's so few and far between. It's crazy. For me, I always thought about the next sale for that person. Right. You know, someday I want to see that person again. Again, or a referral or something. But the other guys want to destroy you, don't care about ever seeing you again. They want to cut your neck off when you walk They just want the money and goodbye. Because they, they got it, because everybody's pay there yeah. is predicated on that sale. They get a piece of that sale. Yeah, of course. No sale, no money. Me, it's a whole different game. I'm, 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 I'm even asking the one guy. I'm like, I'm like, I know. I said sometimes you do financing. You guys get paid after 90 days. I'm like, so do you want me to not pay? Him? And I like, and you're like, no, I, I, I do whatever. And I'm like, I, I'm trying to like, we and those guys want financing. Right? I was, but they, well, they, I, so I'm trying to just because I, I want them to make their money too. But I still it, like I couldn't give, I couldn't give yeah, my money up because just, I couldn't get anything in return. It was horrible. Hey, Jake. Use the Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you so much for Thanks for coming down. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank about three weeks for the. the ah, no worries. Yeah, no worries. You're good. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Absolutely, guys. Appreciate Thank it. you for everything. Appreciate good health. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Assalamualaikum. Thanks, boys. Be good. You. What did we get? The old Porsche Cayenne, baby. We landed on that. That's what we landed on. I gotta figure out how to do all this. You riding in with me? Yeah, bro. You. Wong Wong, got coffee, car, I don't, I don't, I don't got another C, coffee, car, and I know another four letter C, but I don't know if it's fucking Instagram appropriate. Any one of those dealerships that I went to, any of those guys could have, could have sold me a car if they just did it fucking right, and just nobody wanted to, it just sucked. Um, so, it is what it is, that guy, Torchlight Motors, or was it Torchlight Auto, Torchlight Motors, Thought it was great. He did it. He did fucking phenomenal. Jeff was an awesome dude. So, anybody in New Jersey, PA, New York, if you guys are looking to get a car, a used vehicle, go to Torchlight Motors. Ask for my boy Jeff. Hooks it up, man. Great prices. His uh, his car. I mean, you guys saw the lot when we were there. Fucking lot was crazy. He's got a lot of good uh, vehicles and he's constantly getting cars in. So, you know, do I did I need another car? What is this fucking schmeckle doing? Um, did I need another car like I was saying? No, but you know for the for the anxiety of having the dogs and having to put them in what car if, You know take them to vet appointments or going to see my parents You know what cars lease which car gets eight miles to the gallon Just wanted to have a car where I could throw them in and not really think about not that you know This is a piece of shit, but if it's used for 20,000 everybody's like oh, why don't you get a, a new car or new this and it's like I didn't want something new Because they didn't want to treat it like it was a brand new car. I didn't want to get all bent out of shape um, if something happens, I know where I'm going. <laughs> I've turned this way a million times. Um, so I just didn't want something to, you know, get a new car and, and something happen or get it dinged up or fucking get the dogs in it and then just get pissed off. So this, although it's a, a nicer vehicle for 20 grand, um, it's something I wouldn't mind driving. But, I, you know, even so, it's 10 years old. I can throw the dogs in it and I'm not going to fucking think twice about it, you know. It's not my TRX. It's not my BMW. So... Um, and, and honestly, it's a nice fucking ride. I mean, Tony, you're sitting in the fucking passenger seat filming. I mean, it does not feel like it's a it's a 2012, does it? No, At all. Fucking beautiful. I mean, if you look around, you take the camera and, and scan even like above. The fu it's got the, the sunroof. I mean, the thing came fucking fully loaded. It's got it's, it's the base model. It's not the twin turbo, but it's the base model. 75,000 miles on it. I mean, for the base model, it's got everything. It's got all the bells and whistles. Um... Put new brake pads on it, new tires. Obviously, they're fucking shit tires from like wherever. But you know, if, you're not gonna put brand new good tires on a vehicle that you're just getting rid of. So he's got new tires, new brakes, seventy-five thousand miles on it. It's two owners, clean Carfax. I mean, what fucking really more can you ask for when it comes to looking for a car that I we were looking for? And everybody saw what you know things that we were looking at and kind of the hurdles we were jumping and the roadblocks we were running into. And now. Seems like we uh, found a needle in a haystack, and that's what it's about. You know, you got to look a little bit to find what you want, and sometimes finding a good place is the start. So instead of, well, I learned a lesson, instead of looking for the car, kind of start by the place. And when you find a, a, a good place with a respectable owner that takes time out to help you out, you'll, you'll find a car. So it's not always about looking for the exact car, 
when it's so much looking for the owner. Look at this fucking asshole. Like, what are you doing? In your fucking Kia, you fucking loser. Yeah. Idiot. New York. New York. Stay in your fucking... No, I'm just kidding. All my New York fans won't follow me. All right, so I'm one of the five members, actually probably even more, of the fan club of friends that have bought a new car this month. So, well, uh, this is a new used car. So, we landed on the 2012 Porsche Cayenne. Um, did a lot of looking. I was debating the X5. Very stiff drive. Much more stiff than the Porsche. Um, this drive was much more comfortable. Reminded me a lot more of my M440. So, for an everyday drive, um, I wanted to be comfortable. Wanted to have uh, be able to throw the dogs in the back. Um, and this is a little lower than the X5. Easier for the dogs to get in. Had 10,000 less miles. It's got 75,000 miles on it. Um, as you guys can see by the interior, it's pretty much in immaculate condition. Um, I'm very happy with the service that I got from the guy. Um, it was an easy um, sale. It was. I was there one day. We did a couple back and forth um, emails and text messages and walked in today, handed him cash, and uh, he handed me the car. So uh, very impressed so far. A couple little things we got to fix. This has got to get tight. A um, couple, we got to throw some, uh, some tints on it, throw some wheels on it. Um, I got to figure out this head unit situation because head unit works great, doesn't play music, so I got to figure out the aux cable um, works for it. We tried to go to Best Buy, tried to get a head unit, but unfortunately, if I got the head unit for the car, none of the fucking steering wheel works. So um, now you guys got to keep an eye out for what I'm going to do to my everyday driver. So can't everyday carry in New Jersey, but you can have an everyday driver. So this is my everyday driver, Quadro. I'm out, guys. Appreciate you following along. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think of my new whip. So we're going to add the Porsche Cayenne to the list of vehicles in my driveway. So we got the BMW M440. We got the 2022 Dodge Ram CRX. And now we have the 2012 Porsche Cayenne. So I'm going to take this little guy for a spin. And uh, happy hunting. Assalamu alaikum.